Well, new barrel. I was changing scope mounts, uh, but I went back to the Zeke or the uh, spur mount. And now I've got to re-zero this scope with the, with the rifle. Hi everyone, it's the four gun guy. And it's funny how things happen. Uh, just happened that I got all this together and, and I'm sitting there thinking, okay, now I've got to get to the range and I've got to, you know, zero things in. And uh, that's a pain, right? You've got to take the the uh, bolt out and you've got to take your cheek rest off and you're looking down a barrel and you're hoping at 100 yards that you're actually on that target and then you've got to take two or three or four shots and hope that you're on paper or put a big old piece of cardboard down there and it's just a pain and I kid you not I'm thinking about all of that and I get an email from a company that said hey we like the way you do videos and we'd like you to pick uh, one of our products and do a review on so yes, this is one of the few times that uh, I was sent the product, but it was interesting. I went down through their product list and what did I see on there? It's a laser uh, bore sighter. So, and I've been thinking about getting one of these things and, and looking at the different options uh, for them. So I saw this and, and I said, sure, you know, send it to me if, if you'd like and I will give it an honest review. And you guys know that that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But the company is called Mid-10, M-I-D-T-E-M. -E and uh, I mean, I was shocked. I, I said, sure, I'll try your laser bore cider. And literally the next day, this thing was at my doorstep. So that was, that was nice. So I thought what we'd do today is let's kind of go over, you know, why you might want to think about using one of these laser bore ciders. Uh, some of the options that are out there, you know, is it something that fits in the muzzle? Is it something that goes in, in the uh, chamber? And then I want to do kind of a simple unboxing on the mid-10 laser bore cider. Uh, this has some pretty neat features to it. Then I want to take it out in the backyard and I want to see how far we can use this thing, how far out the laser will go. Uh, and then we'll go to the range and see, did it put us on paper? And if it did, how well did it put us on paper? Were we still, you know, here's the target and we're way over here? Or was it more like here? Or was it closer? So we'll kind of get the results here and see how this is going to work out. So if you're ready to go, let's get to it. Well, there's a lot of options when it comes to these laser bore ciders. Uh, and, you know, a lot of times you're using these in, you know, if you go online and you, and you look them up, a lot of them are the cartridges, right? So they're like your cartridge that would fit in your chamber and then the laser is going down your bore. And a lot of that's used for like your pistols, uh, your ARs, uh, to at least just get on paper. Because AR, I'm zeroing that at 50 yards, right? Because I've got a 50 and 200 zero, right? Once you zero it at 50, it's also zeroed at 200. With a rifle like this, I'm zeroing this at 100 yards. So I was kind of leery about using any type of laser bore cider because I was like, is this thing even gonna go out to 100 yards? Am I gonna be able to see it? So that's something I wanna check out here. But, so you have that cartridge that I was talking to you about, and then you have a version that is this like this mid 10 and the way this works is you've got your your bore cider but this actually goes in your muzzle into your muzzle and now I will take this uh, this break off the muzzle break off so I can get right up against the muzzle but what's cool about this is it tapers here so as it fits into the muzzle it it will snugly fit into the muzzle. Now, beyond that, it also has these, these collars that screw onto here, so they give it a very snug and centered fit in the bore. So that's just the difference between these two. And I know you can, you can get, uh, I think, different powers of the laser and whatnot. Uh, this runs on three small batteries. And from what I've seen of this light so far, it's, it's pretty darn bright. Um, so we'll see that when we go outside with it. 
But let's take a look at exactly what comes with the mid-10 laser bore cider. All right, well, let's start with what's in the box. So again, the mid-10 laser bore cider. Uh, we've got the bore cider itself, a uh, simple on-off button, which I like. Uh, three batteries go in the front here. They send you six, so that's nice. They've got the screwdriver that they send you, which I, I gotta tell you, it's little things like this that I really like. It's a, it's a small Phillips screwdriver that you'd use to attach these, uh, these adapters, these bore adapters, and then they send you a battery door uh, uh, Allen wrench. Then they send you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different bore adapters. So these go, wow, these go from uh, 54 caliber down to 17 caliber. So the way these work, and they actually send you even an extra uh, screw there. So the way these work, let, let's kind of set this up. So I've already got the one for, for my bore here. And basically, all I'm doing is I am screwing this on. So I'm going to screw that on. Okay. And now, you may not see this, but this, this, this adapter actually expands. So as I screw this down, it's expanding. And that's why I can bring it in here, put it in the bore. And right there, that's a really tight fit. That's a really tight fit. And there we go. Now I've put it in the bore here. I'll put my hand here so you can kind of see it. And this should be lined up. If it doesn't fit super snug, then I can tighten it down just a little bit. Put it back in there until I get a really snug fit. Now that's too snug, so I'll back it off a little bit. There you go. And so that should be centered right in the barrel. I like the simplicity of this. Now what I want to do is Let's go outside. It's it's about dusk. Uh, and and I, I think I said earlier that in broad daylight, you're not going to see this laser at 100 yards. You're just not. But I think at dusk, we'll be able to see it. And if you live in a neighborhood or, or whatever that you can go outside, that might work. This is uh, up about four o'clock in the afternoon on a November day. Uh, so it's not super bright sunlight on that fence. The fence is 15 yards away, but you can see the red dot, uh, the laser uh, through the scope. And you can see that what, what I would do here, and I'm gonna do this at night with my center fire because that's the one I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, uh, zero, but what I would do is I would then come down, but you're going to probably see me go up on the center fire because I'm going to be at 100 yards or 96 yards, but I wanted to show you that yes, you can see it here, and I'm going to try to see if we can see it on a telephone pole at like 65 yards away in bright daylight, so let's look at that. Okay, I'm going to be very still here because what you're looking at is, uh, I say I'm going to be very still, then I hit it. Let me bring this over just a pinch. If you look up at the three mil mark on that telephone pole, you'll see the laser. Um, so yeah, during the day, this is 65 yards. I can see the laser on the telephone pole. And that's that zoomed in pretty good. Let's zoom out and just see what, oh yeah, you can actually make it out there. Do you see that right where that brace comes down onto the pole and the the elevation uh line is actually in the way of the <laughs> of the laser but you can see it at the three mil mark so that's 65 yards uh let's take it out to 96 see if we can see it okay well here's a laser on the fence and that fence is about uh, it's probably about 10 yards away and you can see the laser on the fence. Now the telephone pole behind it is 96. So let's kind of raise it up. I've got this on my Rock BR front rest. And I don't see it here. So let's adjust the parallax. 
focused basically. See if we might be able to see it. Uh, I do not see it on the telephone pole. So, all right, well guys, here we are in the backyard. Telephone pole is about 96 uh, yards away. And uh, I don't know if this trigger cam is gonna be picking all this up. It's probably just gonna be picking up that red dot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my reticle. So this will at least give us an idea of what's going on here. Now, you can see the laser dot at the two mil mark low and about a mil to the right. That is the laser. So, you know, sitting in the board, and I just brought this out here, uh, it's pretty lined up right now. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to then bring my windage and then my elevation to where I am right on that dot. And now tomorrow, when we get to the range, this should be pretty set up. And I can tell you that, I mean, it's dusk. It's not dark. I can probably read a magazine out here still. Uh, but I can see this laser on that telephone pole clear as day from here at 100 yards or 96 yards. So the brightness of the laser is very good. So let's get out to the range and see, uh, see how this all turns out. Let's see if we can at least get on paper. Okay, well, we're out at the range today. Uh, I think I've got this thing uh, pretty much sighted in. Uh, I did send one shot down before I set everything up because I wasn't thinking, but... <laughs> so let's see what we've got here. Uh, I'm going to start the trigger cam. And we're going to take a look here and see. So from last night, when I zeroed this in the dark against that telephone pole, you can see that first shot there. Now the sun is really right in my eyes right now, but let's see what we can do with a second shot. Let's see where that ends up. I actually have one in there. I don't. Let's see here. Remember, I'm breaking this barrel in, so I'm doing a whole lot of different things in one day. And where did that go? Yeah, it looks like it's almost the same hole. So, uh, look, it looks like all we have to do, and I actually do this if you're going to do this and you've done it the night before, put a note that says do not touch turrets because <laughs> I would have gotten here and re-zeroed these things and I would have been screwed. So I'm going to come back down here. I can hardly see this. It looks like I have to come down. So I'm going to come down a little bit. Vertical looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to touch that for now. So let's take another shot here and see. And again, remember that put us on paper, just like doing what we did last night. Got us on paper. That's all I'm looking for. I don't want to waste a bunch of rounds. And let's see what this does. Uh, yeah, just above. I think I can come down. Gosh, I wish I could see here. I'm going to come down two tenths. And for the rest of the day, this is going to be pretty good because, as I said, I'm breaking in this barrel, so I really should be cleaning it right now, but I'm going to send one more down here, and then we'll go from there. That's uh, pretty good. I'll come up or come down, I think, a little bit. Yeah, come up one tenth. And that should be good. So look, the, uh, the mid-10 did what it was supposed to do. Got me on paper in really one shot. Uh, Could have been... So it took, what, four shots to really get there, and then the rest of the day I'm going to uh, break this barrel in, and at the end of the day I'll re-zero it anyway. So let's get back for some final thoughts. Well, I 
I'm really happy with this uh, with this thing. I mean, uh, if we look at the results now, again, I took a lot of other shots after I zeroed that after the what I showed you there. But if you remember, let me make sure I'm seeing this up here. If you remember, the first two shots, I think were up here. I think this was the third shot, and then the fourth shot ended up somewhere in this group, and then I shot over that afterwards. But it ended up right around in here. So look, in four shots, in the first shot, I was what, one, one, two inches off the center of the target? Uh, generally, I'm telling you, when I'm doing this bore sighting this thing, I'm starting over here, and then it's taking me another five or six or seven or eight shots to get where I got here in four. Now, you may not think that's a big deal, but every one of these holes in this paper here represents about $1.25. So if I only take four shots, it costs me $5 to get zeroed. If I took eight shots, it cost me $10 to get zeroed. You don't think about that stuff when you're just out there punching holes in paper or ringing steel. But every time you pull this trigger, it's about $1.25 worth of material. So uh, as much as I can save, I want to save it. So look, I think the mid-10 laser bore cider, and again, they did send this to me. So, you know, this is my honest review of it. Uh, it picked up the fence at 15 yards in bright daylight. I picked up the telephone pole at 65 yards in overcast weather. You saw where we picked up the 100 yard or 96 yard telephone pole in the backyard at dusk. And yeah, uh, this thing obviously was centered down the bore or else we wouldn't have been that close at 100 yards putting it on paper with the first shot. So I would give mid 10 laser bore cider a good review. Uh, the cost is very reasonable, I think, especially for everything you get. What, you got nine of those adapters, you got two sets of batteries, the screwdriver, the Allen wrench. You really got everything you needed to make this thing work. So I didn't have to come back to my bench and look for anything else. I like the way it fits down here in the bore. Uh, this is this adapter. These are all plastic, so they're not going to hurt anything. They're not uh, wearing out your bore or anything like that. And I just like the simplicity of it. Again, put us on paper in four shots. That's economical, in my opinion. And uh, so, yep, I give this a buy. They did send this to me. So, you know, full disclosure, this was a product that Mid-10 sent me. Uh, but I'm glad they did. And I'm glad I, I the, the planets came together. And I was looking to do this. And I got an email from them. So... Thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate the likes, the comments, all the subscriptions, uh, and the practice videos are doing great. I love making those. I'm going to make some more of them. I've got a few other videos coming out uh, on products that I've bought, so look for those. And until next time, shoot straight.